situation. Mm-hmm. I don't, in the most polite way, I don't need you guys to tell me what I can and cannot get, right? Because at the end of the day, whether you advise me from today to tomorrow, it's not you I'm going to be with. When you it's say, not you that's going to give me what I want. When you say what you can and cannot get, what yeah. is it that you want? What is it that you want to get? Could you just, like, what is it that you want to get? One thing I do know I want is I want to be happy. And I want to be in a realistic we all relationship. Want to be happy, but what no, is but it I that want to be want? in a realistic relationship. Realistic. I feel, I, yeah. I, when guys hear that, like, oh, I want to be happy, it it's signal. It's say, yeah, it signals a lack of loyalty to men because it basically says like you're gonna leave the second you're not happy. I wouldn't even. So okay. anyone that knows me knows I'm a rider. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so go on. No, go on. You go. No, I just because you you talk a lot on behalf of men. I was just wondering, like, do you have loads of brothers or something? Yeah. yeah. I have five brothers. Oh, oh makes a lot I was of wondering. Sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like there's a certain way in which men speak, and when you say, "Oh, I want to be happy," one, it sounds very vague, and two, <laughs> it sounds like just, happiness change. It changes. What happy, people find, yeah. what people find, makes them happy today may not be what, what makes them happen happy tomorrow. Yeah, so it's like when you tell me. That's why I said, "What is it? What is it that you want?" When you say happiness, if, if, if it's the pursuit of happiness, then you could be pursuing anything and any, mm-hmm. everything mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. So if, it, if you have something that you want, what is it that you want? I'd like to, uh, yeah, because it, it's hard to define happiness. Mm-hmm. But let's say, for example, you've got a man. Mm-hmm. He takes care of you and mm-hmm. your kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a new stepfather. Mm-hmm. You're married to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, every single night, you get... You get your back blown out. It's beautiful mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Food Not on the table. <laughs> Food on the table, everything. It's, it's the fact you say it in such an English accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Food on the table, everything. South East London accent. Is that enough for happiness? No, when it comes to women. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll, yeah. Wow. It's, it's not. It's not what more would you need? Because women... Women's happiness. Why are we capping? Women's happiness changes all the time, right? That's why. That's why women are the ones to initiate the majority of divorces because mm. they think they know what they want. They mm. get the thing that they want, and then all of a sudden they don't want it. So their happiness and their minds change constantly. So, like I said, when a man hears, "Oh, I want happiness," it's like, well, what today, this week, this month, this year, mm. and then yeah. what's your happiness for next year? So I want to be with someone who I'm compatible with. Not just for me, but also for him. Mm-hmm. I want him to see me as someone that leaves an impact in his life. I don't want it to just be one-sided. Like, if he's having a bad day, I want him to feel like, let me call Grace, let's, you know, go at this. Are, you, look, are you actively looking for that person? Uh, uh, yeah, I'll say, yeah, now I am. And you haven't found that person? So, I'll be honest, like, I, I'm very honest, mm. if you know this. Um, I've met guys that tick all those boxes. But I'm not going to be that woman that's going to be, oh, yeah, he's hardworking, he's got good money, he's this, he's that, and just be with him. I need to feel that strong. No, I need to feel, I need to desire you. So you're telling me... Yeah, it's going to be a while. (laughs) You're telling me... (laughs) You're telling me all of your boxes can be ticked and you will still say... Nah, I'm good. No, Listen, it sounds, you, you see, you're making you see, it sound you see, crazy. No, but you see men. It's not like that. You see men. That's how it sounds to I'll men. Tell you the difference that's how between it men. sounds because if you if you ask if you ask men if they'd go on a second date with a girl that had 80% of what she that he wanted. 65%. Most, 70%. Yeah, yeah. Most guys answer yes when they survey. They Even survey, if they, he's not attracted to her. They they surveyed if he's not attracted to her, if he had 80% of what he wanted, men want attractive women. Yeah. That's like part of it. Mm. Okay. So I'm saying if you ask women, oh, does he have does he have 80% of what you want? Most girls say no, they wouldn't go on a second date. No, I would. That sounds I would. Cr- I'm I would. not gonna lie, that sounds crazy. I've, I've, no, to no, get, no, 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 no. Put all your boxes to get ticked Babe, and then you say, I'm nah, talking, I'm all right. I don't expect all my boxes to get ticked. Mm-hmm. I think that's unrealistic. No, but you said you've dated the, guys that, that have all tick, of those boxes. That have the key and things. You still Good said job, no. money making, above average, all of that stuff. But I still think there's something missing. But would you, okay, so let me ask you something. Would you like to be this with This is how women work off feelings, you know? No, I think it would come down to personality. I don't feel if you tick all the boxes, but the personality doesn't match. Sorry, what's your name? Terrence, I could have like, if, if a woman ticks all my boxes, but she's a bitch or she's not respectful mm-hmm. yeah. or if we go out on, on yeah, date, but that's not rude. one of your boxes though. <laughs> Sorry? If, if, if she was fair, a bitch. Fair point, fair point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, if I she was a bitch, you'd yeah, be like, hell no. So I can I ask, can I ask you? Like, how important is that stuff really? 
Personality like, like, is, uh, but I'm saying, I'm saying, like in the old days, they didn't mm-hmm. do this, and they had better. They, they were more successful. And if you look at more traditional countries where they actually arrange mm-hmm. marriages, mm-hmm. like they're not talking about personality and like vibes point, and that sort point. of thing, get, and they have better it, yeah. results. Yeah. I get it, but I'm looking for compatibility. I'm oh, looking for, I'm, I'm oh. looking for companionship. So yeah. we need to, our personalities dis- need to. I'll, I'll have to disagree. To uh, disagree a little bit with that one because, like, let's be serious. Like, if you marry a psycho, like it. it, mm-hmm. it, it <laughs> But, but that's that's an extreme. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. right. I know like, it's an extreme. But, I, but I, I, I'm right. Okay, don't marry a psychopath. But <laughs> yeah. typically, when you get the families together and they meet each other, you can vet that out. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying they weren't in the old days, like talking about compatibility yeah. the way we do nowadays. But, uh, uh, like a prime example, actually, a, a modern day woman now, like for me in particular, for what I want, mm-hmm. I couldn't even deal with that. I couldn't deal with a girl who wants to work full time, mm-hmm. never want to take care of the kids. Barely, like a lot of girls don't even want kids anymore. Mm-hmm. Like it's like, mm-hmm. and that's very, very common. So I, I understand when you said that's an extreme, like, but for me, like actually it isn't really an extreme. Like if mm-hmm. a girl wants to work full time, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, and only went full time. She's like, oh, I don't, not really bothered about kids, mm-hmm. which actually a lot of young girls are, 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 aren't really bothered about kids anymore. Mm-hmm. That's what, that's a massive red flag for me. And mm-hmm. I, d- I wouldn't even go there. Mm-hmm. So, I, but that's different, different goals and like timelines. You don't mm. think that's different than the way your personalities mesh? Because to me, that's a, that's a difference in values. Mm. Like you're talking about a different thing. Yeah. Mm. I don't think that young young women aren't interested in having children. I just think they're not interested in having children young. Yeah. 